Hello my fellow mermaids and thank you for tuning into the channel. In this installment of Athleisure Adventure, I am bringing you guys Victoria's Secret, very highly requested and with good reason. It's a good quality, it's a very popular brand, but not overly expensive like Lululemon. They always have deals, which is a bonus. So actually today I will not just be reviewing their leggings, specifically their the knockout pant, is I will also be reviewing one of their sports bras because right now they have a deal going on that if you buy any of their uh, Victoria's Secret sports bras, you get what is the exact discount? Discount. I believe it's 40%. Pretty much these leggings are normally $79.50 Canadian. I got them for $40 for getting the sports bra. The sports bra is $41.50 Canadian. So it'll be a bit cheaper if you are buying American. If you're new to the channel, during my athleisure adventures, I review an item, I do a try on, but I bring it throughout my day so you get a real good impression and see it in real life. And then you can envision yourself, be like, that's good for me or that's a no-go. Take along, I'll do a full review and just get into the shenanigans as we always do. So let's go. here. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Can I have an interview, oh, sir? Or interview, interview. <laughs> YouTube, I have a confession to make. Today I did something that's totally out of character. I'm ashamed. I don't know what to think about myself anymore. Life is just a series of events. I bought a rock star instead of a monster because they were on sale. <gasps> what is life? What have I become? These are only $2, but a monster is $2.50. I sold myself for 50 cents. Let's talk specs on the pants. These are the Knockout by Victoria Secret high rise tights. You can see there, the inch, honestly, I would consider very, and the hem top, kind of like old Gymshark, like not the flex leggings with others. They are high waisted, they sit just at your belly button. I have a very long torso, so the fact that they cover my belly button says a lot about how, how, how high waisted these are. The material, if I had to compare it to a Lululemon, would be equivalent of their Luan. It's not as good material as as Luan, I would definitely drop it down a little bit. It's thinner and just not as silky and you can't, it's not quite as thick in a bad way. As in like Lululemon's thick, it's quite a good material versus this just isn't as much material versus it trying to be like more breathable or something like that. Now they have the mesh material. The mesh is quite similar to Lululemon's. I actually find it actually, a, I would almost say a bit better in some ways. It's just a lot thinner. It's just not as holy, if that makes sense. There's not as many holes in it, in the mesh. So it's a lot more compressed, but it's a lot thinner. So I can imagine you're a lot more likely if you have stiletto nails to get them right in there, rip these babies. Now the stitching on the bottom, the this part, this part, I'm doing off the part. This is like built into that, so that's sewn right in. You can't like lift it up, which I originally thought is what happened with it. Honestly, these would just be like a bit of a cheaper version of a Lululemon, like a Pace Rival or something along, or a Speed Tight. It would actually, I take it more along the Speed Tight Lululemon, like a cheaper version of that would be how I compare it. The fitting, I wore, this is a small, I'm usually a four to six in Lululemon. I regret getting the small in Victoria's Secret. I should have probably gone for extra small. They're already a little bit too big on me. It kind of gets like bunched at the top. It just doesn't fit. There's a lot of loose material. And so I feel it kind of makes my butt and everything look frumpy. But I think that could have been fixed had I gone with the extra small. Now, let's talk negatives. These pants used to be one of like Victoria's Secret's cream de la croix. People really liked them. I never tried them before, so I am just going off reviews. People said the manufacturer changed and they're not happy about it. There's a lot of negative reviews. Like people are still saying they like these pants and I think you'll be really, really like them if you're buying them for the first time. But if you've bought the knockout Victoria's Secret pants for a long time, I think you're actually gonna be pretty disappointed when you see the materials change. Don't take my word on it, but that is just what all the reviews have been saying. Just keep that in mind that if you're a diehard for it, you might be slightly disappointed, but if you're coming in off a clean slate, you may be pretty darn impressed. For the material, it is polyamide, lycra, and elastine. Elstein. I still don't know how to say that. The cool thing is they do have the pocket for your phone. I tested it with my iPhone, fit in perfectly. I even tested it with my case, which has the battery pack. So this is like gonna be one of the thicker cases. It fits with it. Of course, it looks chunky as can be with that there. 
Today is technically my rest day, so I'm not actually working out, but you know how you, there's those kids that parents have to put into sports to like burn off energy, otherwise they go crazy? I never outgrew that phase. <laughs> I just don't like having days where I just sit all day, I go insane crazy. So even if I'm not working out, I just naturally end up doing some kind of activity. End up working up in here, like this is the Homburg Center, it's like gym of the college. There's like a lot of work areas, or I can just go over to the campus, over there and work. Wow, my arms look like they never end. Go, go, gadget. When I need just a break and I've been working too much and sitting, I'll just like come shoot hoops or go for the walk or just go talk to people or go like bounce on the balls. So I'm just gonna take said pants and just baller, baller out. <laughs> excited because we are off to go watch Guardians of the Galaxy now and if you guys didn't know you haven't been following me for a while my OGs know I am a superhero lover that is what actually kind of like inspired me to do YouTube because I love superhero movies and that's what makes me love like cinematography and creating videos and all that that's my special little nerdy self so we see Guardians of the Galaxy and the first one is amazing because like I think of my channel as like no I'm not a superhero but I'm just a girl taking on the world in my leggings instead of superhero costume just saving the world from buying not good quality athletic wear but how that would be like number one goals in life to be in a superhero movie go to watch that i'll let you know how it is guardian galaxy so good if you like the first one you'll like the second one same kind of vibes humor level up here, it's got action. It's just a typical Marvel movie. 8.5 out of 10. Only reason it's not out of 10 is because it was like super similar to the first, so I guess that's a good thing and a bad. Groot is the best Marvel character like out there. I'm Groot. Uh-huh. I'm Groot. No! What would, what would you rank it out of 10? I don't know, seven. Seven? Yeah. What loses a three? Not really, it doesn't really have a story. That's valid. But now we're gonna squat proof these bad boys, see how they hold up out of 10 on the squat proof scale. Science. Sorry, we forgot to move that in the shot. Oops. 10 out of 10, the Victoria's Secret Pants passed the squat test, so. So good. As for a sports bra, I'm gonna talk real fast. But honestly, I really like it. It's a cute design. I like that it's zip up in the front and has like the actual bra built into it. So I think it has a good support. But that's what I do like about Victoria's Secret's bras is they have like regular bra benefits, aka like they make your boobs look good, not just have them supported. Kind of have best of both worlds in that sense. I do like the pattern and the material. It's kind of like with this riffle of it though, I wouldn't really want to wear it underneath like a tank top because it would look really textured and you could see lines in it if you were in a thin tank top. To be a sports bra I'd wear on its own or it would have to be a, oh, underneath like really thick material else you're gonna see all the lines. That's my only drawback for it. Sadly is a gloomy day but it's always fun to go look on our roof. Before I end of the vlog I just wanted to have a little chat because Every time I watch superhero movies, how inspired I am. Because that's what like originally inspired me to get into films and like doing YouTube. And this is what I love about YouTube is just the idea that like one person can influence others. Even th it doesn't necessarily have to be how they save the world, but it's just like how just the idea of them can help someone. So even though I'm not a superhero, I'm not saving the world in that sense, I just like potentially even just giving you guys more informed decisions about fitness clothing because I think fitness clothing can help you take on the world in your own way and it can be your superhero costume and that's what I like to think about myself is like when I put it on I feel good I can conquer the world like that's how I've always kind of viewed fitness clothing so just the idea that it helps someone potentially find something that just makes them feel good so they can impact the world every single time you guys view in and I, I hear you found an item you really like it it does mean a lot to me and that, that's why I have this channel and so cheesy as is I totally got choked up watching Guardians of the Galaxy but just like happy is like just I just know I'm in the right direction of what I want to do and with this YouTube and just that potential it just and I just love the whole idea I love filming and I love that escapism in a way because the world is so negative sometimes but having some people out there that just want to provide entertainment sometimes that's that's plenty of reason and that's kind of making no sense where I'm going off but it's just 
really fun the idea that we all have the potential to impact someone else in a positive way, whether you're literally helping them or you're just providing them entertainment or just adding a little value into their day and just putting a smile on their face. As simple as smiling someone when you walk down the street and so they smile and feel a bit better. You made someone's difference and that's a big deal. You don't have to have a YouTube channel. You don't have to be Chris Pratt, even though we all wish we were Chris Pratt. Let's be real. Uh, yeah, so, and even this morning I was watching Casey Neistat's recent video. He talked about how they raised 2.5 million dollars for the floods and it just started with one person it just started with his friend i totally blank on his name and then him and getting together and they raised 2.5 million and yeah they both have big social media following so that helps but still it just they weren't always with social media they they went up and did it and just shows the impact you can have and that's why i think we all love superhero movies and i know that's why i have since i was a little girl i was the biggest batman fan just maybe i'm just feeling all them feels right now so i thought i'd share it with you i know it's a little off tangent from the beautiful pants that's why i do this and this is why i love this channel and where it's going and you know i'm just a girl in a pair of leggings trying to <laughs> figure out my way through life and hopefully help you guys along the way and every single time you watch a video throw a like hit a subscribe comment down below i don't think you guys understand how much it means to me yeah and i just i do it for you guys and so I'm happy to help any single way I possibly can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, I will just do a quick touch up with these pants. I really like these Victoria's Secret pants. Of course, I didn't see the original knockouts, but these are a great pair of pants. They're super comfy. I do not want to take them off by any means. I think they're good quality. They're very similar to Lululemon, just a little less quality, but also a little less price. So if you want a bit more of an affordable pant, you can't quite pay $100. This is another great option and especially great because they have so many deals, which I think is awesome. That Unfortunately, that is definitely a downside of Lulu stuff goes on sale sometimes but they don't really have like sales that made any sense at all that that was a ramble and swing and a miss and threw a bat I definitely like them especially right now with that deal with the sports bra I really like the sports bra I think it's cute it's a bit more aesthetic than supportive but I definitely would rank these pants as like an 8 out of 10 with affordability price color range everything taken into account these are definitely something I would recommend by far oh and I didn't mention I found a pocket on them right there. so Lulu has pockets in the front that a lot of people copy Victoria's Secret one put in the back so you can put your credit credit cards and keys and all those shenanigans back there when you go on your adventures. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, my fellow mermaids, it means so much to me. Let me know down in the comments your opinions on the Victoria's Secret leggings if you've ever tried them on. Hey, if you saw Guardians of the Galaxy, let me know what you think about it and literally how amazing is Chris Pratt. Like, boom. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you all have a great day. Love you all so much.